5 30 in the morning i just sneezed about 15 times so i sell them like this here's oliver i got up on purpose this time i'm going to start running in the morning at least try to we'll see how i feel after today it's a test run but today is the first day that we get to go swimming the pool is open again at Weston Field for Adult Swim, so we will go do laps later on tonight after work. I haven't done laps since spring. They close the indoor pool when they get the outdoor pool ready, but the outdoor pool is not open at night. It's only open during the day for the kids to swim in the neighborhood. So I haven't been able to swim laps in a while. That was five and a quarter miles at a 9.02 pace. The first two miles or so sucked. My body was very achy because I just woke up. Uh, I haven't run that early in at least a year, so I wasn't used to it. Uh, it did feel great to run that early. I'm wide awake right now, way more so than I would be at 6, 6.36. Now i got my run in for the day. Now tonight we can swim. Uh, I like I like doing this. This way I get my whole day. It's free. I can do more things. Whoa. One thing that I completely forgot to mention earlier was that it was only 54 degrees on my run, which as far as running weather goes, that's beautiful, that's perfect. But as far as this Indian summer goes, oh my God, I was cold. Oh, roads closed. I made a bagel and cream cheese for breakfast this morning. It's sitting in my bag right next to me. It smells so good right now. Sometimes when I'm driving down this road, I feel like I'm in an old movie. Just the way the trees kind of go over the road and everything. It's pretty cool. Getting close to ending, but... Yesterday, I sat on these bleachers here. And I just kind of rambled for a while. I didn't have much to say. It was a really boring day. Uh, you can watch it. I'll play it right now. I picked the worst possible time to go for a walk. It's 2.30, the high school, yeah. It's 2.30, the high school right behind work just got out. Lots of school buses, lots of 16 year old kids in beat up pickup trucks trying to drive real fast. That just spells disaster. Kid almost pulled out right into me. I was walking right next to him. I was like right next to his driver's side door. I spent about 45 minutes unloading the uh, company van from yesterday's shoot, getting gas, coming back, and copying footage off of memory cards. There's nothing exciting there. That was it, it was a boring day. I spent like two and a half hours trying to find hidden files on my computer that were just sucking my hard drive dry. I did, however, get to get two planes landing, and you can see them now. Oh, he's going for the other one. Is he getting off the gas off the ground? And there he is. Those were shot on my iPhone. I couldn't get the G7X out of the little pouch quick enough, which is why the first plane is practically on the ground. By the time you see it, I was struggling, and then I just grabbed my phone out of my pocket. And the second one, I learned from my mistake and pulled the phone out instead of going for the G7 because it was just quicker. I didn't have to deal with the zippers or anything. I just pulled the phone out of my pocket, slid it open, hit the button, hit record, 
and we got the biplane which was really cool I didn't expect it to fly over me like that and land on that diagonal runway I didn't even know that was there it's another beautiful day out today these clouds behind me are beautiful I'm really digging that backdrop there it's getting close to fall I do love summer I really love summer but fall is where it's at I prefer jeans and a sweatshirt or a light jacket I like riding around on the scooter when it's a little cooler so you're not sweating and dying and I love Oktoberfest and I love pumpkin beers and I love Halloween me and Amy actually got married in October so our four-year wedding anniversary is in just under a month on October 11th we'll have been married four years four years it doesn't seem like we've been married that long we've been together for a long time but it doesn't seem like we've been married for four years I'm not gonna lie I'm stalling right now because I really don't want to go back inside it's beautiful it's like perfect out here right now I can lay out in the backyard with Oliver all day long if it's always like this but I gotta get back to work back to the hobbit hole I'm being stalked by this truck I guess he's trying to back into one of the uh, loading bays back there but he was just trailing behind me I guess I'm walking too slow for him no this is not the magic of video it is still daylight out because we are going swimming for the first time this year Amy and I will be going swimming it's from 7:30 to 8:30. and seeing as I'm gonna get up at like 5 5 30 and more to run and I ran this morning I'm gonna swim tonight I'm probably going to be far too tired to take Oliver for a walk later also it's not that hot right now so it's not like I have to take him for a walk at night it's probably in the mid 70s it's comfortable I put on shorts my dog's barking as much as I know it's inappropriate I really want to bring a GoPro with me swimming I didn't bring it home from work so I can't it's kind of why I didn't bring it home but I want to wear the chest harness and film myself doing some laps you really only see the bottom of the pool but I think it might be kind of cool. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I think I found the computer I'm gonna buy. This might end badly here. I think the dog's inside. Come on, Oliver. So Oliver and I are almost done with our walk. We're about to come up the twisty hill that I'm walking or running up at least once a day every day. Halfway up this hill there's a little Jack Russell Terrier. I'll try to get him on video, I'm sure he's out. Every day, without fail, this dog goes ballistic. It could be me alone going for my run could be me alone walking up this hill because I'm at the end of my run and I'm exhausted I could be walking all over this dog goes crazy and tries to jump over the fence and kill me it's a little Jack Russell I had a Jack Russell for a long time his name was Wiley he was a great dog he was insane so I know how insane these dogs are oh I've got a friend he's got a little friend This morning when I was running, that poor little guy, he was at the door just crying his heart out. He wanted to go inside. It was real early. I ran past there. It's probably quarter after six or so. This is at the end of my run. It's like the last hill before I'm home. And he even turned. He saw me. He kind of like let out a little growl like he was going to come after me. But then he just, he just dropped his head into feet and walked back to the door and started crying again. Oh, it was so cute and I felt so sad for that little guy. He just wanted to go inside. He probably wanted his breakfast. He probably wanted his glucosamine in his treat, just like Oliver. Goes outside, peeps and poops, comes inside, gets his glucosamine in a treat, goes back to bed. That's all he wanted. That's all the little guy wanted. That's the pool behind me. We did about three quarters of a mile or so. It's the first time we swam since, how long? 
Do you think it's been four months? Yeah, about four months since we swam. Not bad. Thought you a lot worse. So today was extremely eventful. Although most of the action was not filmed. Oliver here. He's happy that we're home. He's wagging his tail. What time is it? Like nine ish? Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. I'm gonna try to stay awake for Ink Masters. If not, we're recording it, so I'll I'll just watch it tomorrow.